Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to handle accept all cookies dialog. So let's get started. These days, when you open few applications, you may get this dialog saying accept cookies dialog, okay? So what, why we have to you know, handle this accept all cookies dialog? If this kind of dialog is coming, in your application, it will be difficult for us to automate, right? It, it will come in between, okay? So first thing is that we need to accept that thing and then we have to go with the automation. So how okay. to handle this accept all cookies dialogue, okay? How to overcome or accept this uh, cookies dialogue that I'm going to show you in this session. But uh, before that, I'll show you one example. I will give you an example of uh, accept all cookies dialogue. How does it look like? And uh, okay, some example website I'll show you where you can get this kind of dialogue, okay? So let me expand this and you see this is an example, opera.com slash download. This is a URL. Let me open the browser and, uh, okay, let me open the browser and I'll open this uh, incognito mode and uh, I'll, you know, provide this URL, opera.com slash download URL. This is the moment I open this URL, guys, I'm getting this cookies dialogue saying accept cookies. This is what I'm talking about, guys, okay? Without handling this, without performing an action on this, okay, without accepting uh, cookies, right? You cannot proceed further. Okay. You cannot uh, automate the things further. So first we have to surpass this particular cookies dialogue. Is that difficult? No, it's very easy guys. Okay. This cookies dialogue looks separate from this HTML page visually, but code wise, it's part of the same HTML page. Okay. The code, HT, the code, uh, the HTML code for this cookies dialogue is part of the same HTML page code that you are seeing in the background. Okay. The layout looks like it's something on the top of something on the page kind of thing, but uh, internally, right? This is this HTML part of this, okay? The normal way you automate the application, right? The way you can automate this accept cookies, guys, it's not that much difficult. Let me give you different examples, okay? Let me show you some different examples, like how accept cookies will come in different websites, okay? Accept uh, cookies dialog, okay? I'll go to the images, guys. You see different websites, right? And the bottom of the website or something. Yes, I accept cookies. This kind of thing will come in some websites. It will come like this. In some websites, it will be coming like this. Okay. More these just a uh, good number of websites are showing this kind of dialogue as you okay. Uh, then I'll show you uh, because then only they'll add the cookies to your website browser and all those stuff, guys. Okay. So some examples here and there I'm showing you. Something will be in the bottom. Some some places, you know, they'll be you know. A different places. Let me show you. You see, this is also cookies, I guess. Accept all. You see, in the bottom of this website URL, accept all is coming. Okay. Like that. It may not be every time in the center. Sometimes it will be there here in the bottom, right side, left side, in the between. It can come at any place. So, how to handle this kind of accept all cookies is very simple, guys. Okay. So, what I have to do is I'll just switch to this uh, PyCharm ID for a practical demonstration. I'll show you. Since I was already saying that this accept all uh, cookies uh, dialogue is part of the same HTML page, I don't have to switch to this. I don't have to switch to this uh, cookies dialogue to perform the operations. Directly you can perform the operation, guys. I'll show you how to perform the operation. So here I'll give the URL of this application. If I don't handle this, uh, you know, if I don't handle this accept cookies dialogue kind of thing, uh, the dialogue will be there only, okay? You cannot perform the remaining operations. The next operations you cannot automate. I'm running this script uh, without handling this uh, accept cookies dialog first. I'll just open the URL and let's see whether we are getting the dialog or not. Okay. So what's the problem here? There's a problem coming. Okay. Firefox is installing some updates. It seems it will launch in a while or, okay. Let me run it again. Is it still installing the updates or? There is an external factor, you should not worry about that. You see, the Firefox is launching, it will maximize, it will open the application URL in the browser. You see, you got this cookies dialog. Now, if I want to click on this download uh, now button, this is coming in between, right? I cannot automate uh, clicking on the download button without handling this cookies dialog. So how to handle this cookies dialog is very simple, guys. So you just need to right click on this accept cookies and select inspect. You see, you are getting the inspect option because this cookies dialog is also part of the same HTML page. Now here you got this uh, span something something. So accept cookies is there and uh, that looks like some contains kind of thing. Okay, so I'll write something like this. So I'll just copy this accept cookies anyhow. 
Okay, this part I'll copy. Some spaces are there be before and after. Control F, double slash span contains like this X path expression I'll create. In the first one I'll give text and in the second one I'll give the, you know, this one, actual text and, uh, you know, close that and press enter. You see what's happening? It's locating this accept cookies button. Okay, I'll copy this. Export expression of that, and here I'll write down. I'll give time dot uh, sleep just for demo purpose, so that we can see the cookies dialog. And after that, I'll simply say driver dot find element by dot x path of that button on the cookies dialog. Okay, not able to write by dot x path here, but because I have to import this by now first. Import by from Selenium Python and say dot x path now, and give that x path expression and simply say dot click case. That's it. Okay. Now click on the accept cookies. This dialog will go away and you can perform the operations on the remaining elements on this web page. That's the plan. Now run this script, you will see that happening. Okay. It will open the Firefox browser, maximize the browser window, and open the application URL in the browser. You get the cookies dialog, and uh, with the code I have written, you can directly perform the operations on the. You see, accept cookies will be clicked in a while. It should be clicked. After three seconds, you just wait. It should be clicked. It's more than three seconds. It's not working out. Only three seconds, right? I don't know what's happening. Let me do one thing. Let me run it again, freshly. Let's cross check again what's happening here. Let the Firefox browser launch. Then maximize, then open the application URL. After three seconds, you see it has closed. That means it is working fine, guys. Okay, that means it is working fine. But now you can perform operations on any element. Now, cookies dialog has been gone. It's very simple, guys. Simply write the driver.find element. The normal way you automate the elements on the web page, right? The same way you have to. Perform the actions by locating the element on the cookies dialog. You can do that. Okay. That's no, this is not a big deal. So, hope guys understood how to handle the accept all cookies dialog uh, in this session as part of this session. So, that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye bye.